Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. discuss another very very important topic for design analysis of experiment this is hypothesis testing. <coughs> so, let us see the contents. So, we will uh, introduce what is hypothesis and what do we mean by hypothesis testing, different kinds of hypothesis testing such as hypothesis testing for single population mean, single population variance equality of two population means and, e and equality of two population variances. So, it has uh, much similarity with confidence interval, although the approach is different, but from um, confidence interval estimation also we will we'll be able to um, take some decision on hypothesis test to be tested. Um, so, the derivation point of view as there are a lot of uh, similarities, I will skip most of the derivation part rather how hypothesis testing is done and, and uh, how to take decisions that is of importance. So, we will discuss more of those kind of things. So, what is hypothesis? A hypothesis is a statement that is yet to be proven. So, for example, a manufacturer says that Suppose a manufacturer, manufacturer producing, uh, let it be a, 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 a tube light. Now you want to know that what is the, uh, how long it will burn or glow continuously. Okay, so manufacturer may say that a thousand hours it will continuously burn. So that means the manufacturer is making a statement that my uh, the tube light I pro our my company produces uh, it has uh, on an average 1000 hours of continuous um, burning. Okay. Suppose uh, another one uh, may be um, you just think of a medical test, um, gone through certain medical test and then there is some measures may be cholesterol, may be blood pressure, may be something other some kind of disease related uh, test. So, um, uh, it is hypothesized that uh, the value uh, 100 or 150 or 120, uh, it is basically it, it leads to certain kind of disease. So, if, there, if the blood pressure is uh, for a certain age group, blood pressure is more than 140, then for con, uh, it is high blood pressure and, and uh, it, is, it is from the proven from the medical science and if this continues with, you continue with high blood pressure for maybe 20 hours together, you will have some, um, some accident or some kind of uh, ill effects. That is also another kind of statement. So, suppose a victim is um, uh, taken to the court in front of the judge, the judge may think that okay, uh, he is an innocent guy, he, he, unless it is proven through facts, I cannot tell he is guilty. So, he is innocent that is also a statement. So, more or less uh, in our uh, subject, we will be looking for the quantitative uh, statement point of view, not the subjective or qualitative statement. That uh, like he is good or bad, but here most of the times we will be looking after certain mean value, certain standard deviation value or certain mean difference values like this. For example, I say that mean burning time is 1000 hours or the difference between uh, two um, between the diameter of ball bearing produced by two different machines may be 0.002 uh, centimeter, such kind of statement we will make and that is what is but that is what is the hypothesis and you, what do you require? You require from the data may be through experiment or other way, but here it is the through experimental data you, you say that yes it is correct or wrong, it will be accepted 
or you will it will be rejected or it will be rejected and you will fail to reject the hypothesis. So, the hypothesis what you want to accept or fail to reject uh, or other way can or reject this is known as null hypothesis. So, there are two kind of hypothesis null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis. Null hypothesis and assertion about the value of a population parameter hold as true unless statistical evidence conclude otherwise. For example, when a, a when a person uh, uh, is uh, bring to the court uh, the judge thinks that he is an innocent. The reason is the uh, maximum people, when if you consider maybe the any civilization, they will find out the most of the people are civilized. Maybe 99.99 percent percent people they are basically innocent people, civil people. They are not having criminal. They are not doing any criminal uh, kind of things. So that's why so long it is not proven that he is guilty, it is it is true that he is innocent because that is what is the mass says. So, that sense <coughs> what is alternate hypothesis negation of the <coughs> null hypothesis that means the null hypothesis is false. So, here in this uh, half an hour 40 minutes of lecture now what we will do we, we will see that the single and both double population uh, case and both mean and variance case and how do we do the hypothesis testing. So, these steps are very very important. First you find out the null hypothesis, you find out the alternate hypothesis. Then find the appropriate statistics which will be used to test hypothesis. Then obtain sampling distribution of theta, if theta is the appropriate statistics when H0 is true keep in mind. Because everything you are testing through under the null hypothesis in the sense that you are assuming the null hypothesis is true and you are testing and after test if you find that the null hypothesis cannot be accepted you reject it. Select significance level alpha and compute tabulated theta that is theta tabulated and then take decision based on this. So, what I mean to say first is select H0 and H1 then find out appropriate statistics theta then find out the sampling distribution of theta, sampling distribution of theta and then you choose the level of significance that is alpha and then, then compute the statistics value. table and get the tabulated value and then make decision. That means, if tabulated value is, a, is if, if the computed value is suppose computed value mod of this is greater than the tabulated value. Obviously, you know if you know the distribution you will be using different kind of tabulation then then reject H0 null hypothesis. So, where from you got tabulated value you will use different kinds of table. So, you have to know what is the appropriate sampling distribution and accordingly you, you find the tabulated value for appropriate significance level. This is very simple and straightforward things to do it. So, I will <laughs> I will just quickly say that this is this is nothing but what we have already seen under estimation population can be normal and non normal and under this the under the normal and non normal and with different kind of sample size what are the different statistics that are important. So, it is a normal population sigma known and sample size small or large irrespective to this is the z distribution and y bar minus mu by sigma by root n follow z distribution. If sigma unknown then if sample size is large then it will follow z distribution otherwise t distribution. If non normal case sigma known n greater than n is large then z distribution. If sigma unknown n is large then all z distribution, but if sigma in any case whether sigma known or sigma uh, unknown if sample size is low less then 
not known the distribution not known okay so <clears throat> another very important concept here that what kind of decision making scenario it will happen so as i told you that when you talk about any 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 statistic and its resultant distribution so then when you take decision you will create a range of rejection range zone rejection and this side rejection this side acceptance this said acceptance, this is rejection, rejection. So, but theoretically all possible, all values are possible for theta. So, if you reject, there is an error. Okay, so, that error we talk about level of significance. Okay. So, now, um, now that uh, because error, error is there in two ways, either is there is basically the status statement is false, you can accept it then that is one kind of error statement is correct but you are rejecting based on your test that is another kind of error this is what is given here so in reality the statement is true or statement is false through test you may accept the statement you may reject the statement if in reality statement is true and you are rejecting the statement then it is type 1 error with probability alpha type 1 with probability alpha and another one is that in reality the statement is false, but you have accepted it then it is type 2 error with probability beta. Okay. So, this type 1 error and type 2 error are very very in important one Ty suppose you are producing something and you have some uh, sampling scheme and through sampling you are finding out you are basically rejecting a lot which is basically of good quality not sending to the customer. So, in that case you, you, your, this, your it is a type 1 error and what happened your loss is the production loss, but it may so happen that your uh, sampling scheme is not able to detect that bad lot, but it has been sent to the customer because you have accepted the bad lot as good lot and that that entire items that has been gone to customer and customer there is a huge loss because not only the production lost the logistics supply chain supply lost there is reputation lost many more loss so it is a huge one in a medical test suppose someone is having a uh, having a illness and your test is no test is uh, saying that he is not he is having illness irrespective of he is not having that illness then it is a type 1 error because even though he, he, he is not having illness, you are seeing illness he will be treated in the sense that um, but if he having the disease and you are saying he is not having the disease and he is not treated accordingly then his loss will be much more but obviously many a times the medical error is such that the uh, not having disease, but detecting disease also very, 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 very costly. But whatever may be the thing, so the situation is you are accepting the statement provided it is false. This is type two error. Accepting the rejecting the statement provided it is true, that is type one error. Type one error in most of the production situations and all those cases, it is basically less severe than type two error. Okay, type one error is known as alpha error. Type two known, known is beta error. So when it is type two error is coming, it is basically the population is not having the distribution uh, under age zero. It may be having a different distribution. So, what are the step? steps are collect data, compute mean and variance, develop H0, H1, compute statistics, choose alpha level, tabulate this one. Okay. Those things we have discussed earlier. What is the T value here? Y bar minus mu by S by root n. So, I will straight away go to an formula, go to an example uh, with the given formulas. Here, uh, Suppose the when the filter one is used, 
for detecting the target in the radar scope experiment. Suppose the mean uh, signal uh, that uh, level is 100. That means, when the signal strength is at 100 level, it will be detected. That is what is the population mean. So, you want to test it and you are, we are giving a uh, lesser confidence that 10 per, uh, more error 10 percent error. So, what you will do? You will find out the appropriate statistics t statistics y bar minus mu by s by root n because here s is not variance is not given. So, this value is 0 0.72. Now, what is the theoretical distribution for this? This will be t n minus 1. So, t n minus 1 is t n is 12 minus 1 it is 11 t 11. Now, we are considering alpha by 2 alpha by 2 is point this is alpha by 2 t alpha by 2 is 0 0.05. So, point uh, the t alpha by 2.05 is 2.201 because what happened if you consider alpha equal to 0 0.10. So, alpha by 2 will be 0 0.05. Okay. So, as the computed value is less than the tabulated value. So, this is my t distribution. Now, this value this t 11 0 0.05 this value is how much? 2.201 and tabulated value t what is y bar minus mu by s by root n this is 0 0.72. So, the if this one is 2.2 and this is your 0. So, 0 0.72 means somewhere here the distance from 0 it is not this distance is not much it is not far away from this mean value. So, as a result what is happening you are accepting the null hypothesis that means, mean intensity level at detection is 100. Okay. Now, for variance case what happen variance case we know that chi square equal to n minus 1 a square by sigma square. So, you find out this quantity if sigma square is known you have sample calculate s sigma will be given find out this. So, what is the this is suppose this is the problem problem is that the same problem filter type 1 case we say that sigma equal to 6.5. Okay. Sigma is 6.5 n is 12. So, what is the chi square computed? chi square computed is 12 minus 1 into a square, a square is how much? A square is 58.083, 58.083 and divided by 6.5 square, this is 42 point, this one is 42.25. So, this quantity is coming as 15.12. Now, we will see chi square table. So, what is chi square tabulated value? Tabulated value means chi square n minus 1, 12 minus 1, 11 degrees of freedom with alpha by 2. So, 1 0 by 2. So, what is this then? Chi square 11 0 0.05 and this value is 19.11. So, chi square computed equal to 15 point this is less than chi square tabulated equal to 19.1. What does it mean? That means, if I know I know that the distribution of this quantity this chi square is chi square distributed and I have created range this one. So, now my this computed value is 19 15.1 to somewhere here. So, it is not far away, it is not falling here or here, it is not far away from the. So, okay. so what we may, what we say that it is null hypothesis is accepted. Now, the same thing you think of the two population uh, that we are, we are talking about two population means, equality of two population means, equality of two population mean case. 
what is h 0 here mu 1 equal to mu 2 I am not explaining what is what are the those two population all of you know now then what is your h 1 mu 1 get a not equal to mu 2 in the single population case what was the h, h 1 for mean case mu equal to mu 0 and h 1 was mu not equal to mu 0 for variance case for variance case it was h 0 sigma equal to sigma 0 or sigma square equal to sigma 0 square and h 1 sigma square not equal to sigma 0 square that was the test it is single population case single population case now two population case so here in single population case this value is given this value is given in this case we have two population we are considering their means are equal or not sometimes what happens some um, we, you may consider like mu 1 minus mu 2 equal to 0 that is what is h 0 maybe some other value may be given mu 1 minus mu 2 equal to theta or k it is possible so but most likely case is this so we will use this one okay so here one few more things are there this is when we are saying mu 1 minus equal to mu 2 mu 1 less than equal to mu 2 we are talking about two tailed this tail and two tail test this side right tail and left tail if if the computer value fall in right or left tail or the re rejection region it will be rejected there can be one tail test also sometimes what happen h 0 h 0 can be said h 0 mu 1 less than equal to mu 2 and h 1 mu 1 greater than mu 2 then what will happen it is one tailed like this h 1 mu 1 mu minus mu 2 means mu 1 minus mu 2 less than equal to 0 and mu 1 minus mu 2 greater than 0 or this is or so this is one tail so when you use two tailed then the the error will be divided into two side it this side alpha by 2 and this side alpha by 2 if it is one tailed only if it is one tailed only so then this side only alpha will be there this side no means what we are saying suppose if it is that uh, the distribution for this for this suppose this normal distribution fine but my case is like this so mu 1 might be less than 0 or greater than 0 we will go by one tail only so this side alpha alpha entire alpha will be considered this right side or left side depending on what is h 0 if h 0 is greater than this one case and if in case of h 0 if you say it is less than then left side or right side depending on the situation it will be chosen ok but in 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 our doe case most of the time we will be using this two tail test because this is most of the time suiting to our situation keep in mind this one so in statistics hypothesis testing edge null hypothesis alternate hypothesis sing one tail or two tail test very important keep in mind and then your alpha error and beta error I have discussed keep in mind. So, with this background now two population mean case equality of two population means means h 0 mu 1 equal to mu 2 h 1 mu 1 not equal to mu 2 it is a two, two tailed case ok. So, here some other assumptions that sigma 1 square equal to sigma 2 square equal to sigma square that means population means uh, variances are equal and unknown but unknown population variance are not known now irrespective of sample size we can use the distribution here but if your sample size is much more then you can use z distribution anyhow here what we have seen in on competence interval we have created sp square which is n1 minus 1 s1 square n 2 minus 1 s 2 square by n 1 plus n 2 minus 2 ok and we have created the interval but we say that t n 1 plus n 2 minus 2 this will be this y 1 bar minus y 2 bar minus 
this expected value of y1 bar minus y2 bar divided by its variance variance of y1 bar minus y2 bar this is the this will distribution okay so accordingly what happened we found out this one is nothing but sigma 1 square by n1 plus sigma 2 square by n2 and this one is mu 1 minus mu 2 can you remember all those things and resultant then resultant you see that re resultant is that t computed value will be this t n minus that y 1 bar minus y 2 bar go to the slide 1 y 1 bar minus y 2 bar minus mu 1 minus mu 2 by s p root over 1 by n 1 plus 1 by n 2. So, this is the tabulated uh, computed t value. So, under null hypothesis mu 1 equal to mu 2 this will become 0 mu 1 minus mu 2 becomes 0. So, our computed t value will be computed t value will be y 1 bar minus y 2 bar by s p into root over 1 by n 1 plus 1 by n 2 and most of the time what will happen n 1 equal to n 2 equal to n then this will be y 1 bar minus y 2 bar by s p root over 2 by n. Then what is the uh, tabulated t? Tabulated t is what is the degree of freedom here? Degree of freedom is t n 1 plus n 2 minus 2 and definitely it is a two tail test. So, it will be alpha by 2. So, what we do then if the computed t greater than equal to tabulated t then reject h 0 that is the decision. Okay. Test hypothesis now come to this we are considering two different population filter 1 filter type 1 type 2 and we are interested to know see that whether given this data experimental data we can we can see that whether the means are different or not or whether the means are equal or not. So, what we have done first calculate the sp square which is 47.625 sp is 6.9 then find out t 0 the differences between means by sp root over 1 by 12 1 by 12. So, this is 4.40. So, what is the theoretical distribution t 22 and its alpha value is 0 0.025 that value is 2.074 from the table. Now, computed value is more than the tabulated value. So, they reject the null hypothesis. Null hypothesis is rejected that means, the two, two population mean differs. So, if you use filter type 1, the, the uh, signal at uh, strength at detection intensity at the detection will be more or less than uh, this two uh, type 2, but it we can see from the data the mean difference um, where is this one no. uh, here ok here here. So, we found that 101 and 89 ok. So, that means in the first case it is more second case it is less than the first case. So, ok. So, that means this 101 and 89 there uh, this difference is large difference considering the variability weighting with the variability ok. So, find then <coughs> another case will be that suppose variances are known in that case you use this normal distribution and according a normal distribution the same example you can use normal distribution z distribution and you will get the get this 4.37 and z equal to alpha by 2.0 okay. now <coughs> in case of two population variances whether they are equal or not in confidence interval time we know that this follows this distribution. So, that means this is my computed f. Now, what will be tabulated f? f n 1 minus a 1 and n 2 minus 1 alpha by 2 and with this example let us see what is happening. He wants to conduct a test statistics for testing the equality for two population variance alpha equal to 0 0.05. 
So, F 0 S 1 square by S 2 square is this and this quantity uh, where we are assuming that uh, eight minute uh, that two equality of two population variances. So, under H 0 sigma 1 square equal to sigma 2 square. So, sigma 1 square equal to sigma 2 square then it is this quantity will become S 1 square by S 2 square that is what is happening S 1 square by S 2 square. So, F 0 is 1.562 and tabulated one is 3.48. So, tabulated one is more than the computed one or computed one is less than tabulated one null hypothesis associated that means, the two population variances are equal. So, <coughs> with this I conclude I, I said that hypothesis testing is a very important concept. very very important. There will be null hypothesis, there will be alternate hypothesis, there will be one tail tail test or two tail test. We will be mostly relying on two tail test, the reason is our situation suits to this most of the time. Then, <coughs> then what happened? it is basically you must once you know h 0 and h 1 then you must and also data is collected you must know the appropriate statistic. What does it mean by appropriate statistic? If it is single population mean then y mar minus mu by sigma by root n actually we are basically calculating random variable minus expected value of this random variable by variance of this random variable square root of this variance of random variable. This is what is the appropriate statistics. If it is y bar it will be y bar minus mu by sigma by root n if sigma is known otherwise s by root n. If it is y 1 bar minus y 2 bar then y 1 bar minus y 2 bar minus this y mu 1 minus mu 2 by this. If it is um, variance case then it will be s square uh, that is uh, s, s squares for single population and that time what happened we will not use this we will use for variance case we will use other kind of things like n 1 n minus 1 s square by sigma square. Okay. If it is if it is uh, single population single population if it is two population that here it will be difference here, here what will be we will be interested to know s 1 square by s 2 square. The reason actually most of the time what will happen in case of single population h 0 is known mu equal to mu 0. So, this will be mu 0. In case of two population mu 1 minus mu 2 equal to 0. So, this value will become 0. In case of variance what will happen that h 0 mu uh, sigma equal to sigma 0 square. So, sigma 0 this quantity will become sigma 0 and in case of equality of two population variance case sigma 1 square equal to sigma 2 square this is the quantity. Okay. So, and then then what happened your computed sta statistic if it is greater than equal to suppose tabulated stat then what will happen? You reject H 0, otherwise accept it. Okay. So, another important one is that whether you accept reject H 0 when it is true, this is known as alpha error or type 1 error. When you accept H 0 when it is false, this is known as beta error or type 2 error. This, this concept is very important later on we will be discussing all those things when you discuss the sample size calculation that time um, that time I will discuss about this when under different situation how to calculate the sample size. Okay. So, thank you very much.